Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome to my channel. So um, this afternoon, guys, I went on a book hunt uh, for uh, books and also for uh, media, DVDs and stuff. And I wanted to share what I found uh, with you guys. So this book, uh, this is my first pickup. Um, I found it at a library uh, bookstore sale, uh, U.S. Capitalist Development Since 1776. It's by Douglas Dowd. I've never heard of this author. Uh, this book was published in 1993. Apparently he's an economic historian, a political historian type of, of guy. I was kind of skimming through the book a little earlier. It seems pretty interesting. Uh, he does recommend a lot of other books like for further reading. So it's more of like a summary book, I would say. And so that's that was my first pickup. Uh, number two, I picked up this DVD, um, United States History, uh, Origins to 2000, Industrialization and Urbanization, uh, 1870 to 1910. So if you guys follow my channel, guys, you, you guys know that I'm big into financial history. I'm big into, um, especially like the, the 19th century, uh, you know, the robber barons, the Gilded Age. So... Um, this is actually meant for a teacher, uh, like a teacher uh, prep, like I, I would say high school teacher type uh, DVD that you can show in class. But I picked it up at, at a library bookstore sale. Um, I'm fascinated by the, uh, you know, the Gilded Age, the late nine, the the last half of the 19th century, guys. Um, just fascinates me, you know, Rockefeller, Carnegie, uh, the Commodore, um, all those guys. So how they made their money, J.P. Morgan. So this DVD talks about industrialization and urbanization. And here's the back. All right. Next I picked up, I didn't, I didn't have a huge pickup guys, but I, I picked up a few books here. Um, the Internet Bubble. So this is by, let me see, Anthony B. Perkins and Michael C. Perkins. I'm not sure if they're related, um, but it basically tells the inside story on why it burst and what you can do to profit now. So it's basically one of those, you know, okay, we've had a crash, the bubble burst, what can you do now? Um, I'm not a huge fan of these type of books, but I was when I was uh, looking through um, the book at the store, at the bookstore, um, it did touch on some good points, uh, and I said, hey, I might want to consider, you know, I might want to take this home and read it a little further, a little more in detail. Um, obviously, it's about this, the internet crash, the internet bubble bursting uh, back in 2000s. Um, that's when it burst, um, and uh, so that's what this talks about. This book, I believe, is published in 2000, if I'm not mistaken. I did, I did look at the uh, year that it was published. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna check it out. Just do a little further reading. A lot of my, a lot of my books, guys. If if I find that it, they're just not um, for me, or I don't really want to keep them, I'll kind of just skim through them. I'll read them, uh, you know, kind of like a, just a really quick read, and then I'll donate them back to the library um, so that somebody else can enjoy them, um, or they just might send the shelf. <laughs> so that's my other pickup, guys, and I have two more here. Um, <clears throat> This one is Bankrupt. I hope you guys can see it there. Let me put this up here, okay. It's by Lowell L. Bryan, uh, Restoring the Health and Profitability of Our Banking System, Bankrupt. Um, it basically talks about the, as you can see from the subtitle, the banking system. And let me check when it was published. I think it was the 80s, but let me double check. Uh, no, it was 1991, actually. So. I guess this the guy that wrote this uh, work, used to work at State Street or works at State Street or used to, well, obviously, he's probably not there anymore, but he was an employee of a State Street bank. Um, so I'm going to check it out. It obviously talks about the banking system. I'm fascinated by banking stocks. I'm fascinated by banking history. Um, and so I love to read anything that has to do with bank, banks, investment banks banking related stuff, uh, financial history. I love it. So that's why I picked it up. All right. And the last one, like I said, this wasn't a huge pickup guys. Um, I thought this was interesting just to help me with my investing. 
And this book actually is published. Let me see. I, I, I know this book is, let me see. This is 1983. Okay. So it's published 1983. An analysis for Financial Management, Robert C. Higgins. Um, this guy, I believe he was a PhD teacher, uh, professor of business at the University of, of Washington and published 1983. Um, I think this is a really good book, guys, because again, I'm not into a, a lot of these types of books that kind of just, um, you know, they're, they're, um, kind of like those type of books where, oh, you know, buy, you know, kind of like a technical analysis or, you know, you should look for this in the company and if a company is doing this and that, but I actually, when I was looking through this book at the bookstore, um, I found that a lot of the ratios, uh, ratio analysis that it was doing, uh, can be very helpful for me. A lot of the formulas can be very helpful for me when I'm doing my own research into possible investments um, in companies. So I really liked what, what what the little bit that I read at the bookstore before I purchased the book. I did really enjoy what I saw, what I read. So um, I'm going to look further into it. I'm going to read further into it. And um, again, a lot of those uh, racial analysis is what caught my eye. And that's why I purchased this book. So Thank you guys very much for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, book haul video. And uh, have a good one. Signing off.